What's up nail fiends? Welcome back to my channel and welcome to day number five of my Countdown to Christmas series. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys how I created this gorgeous Stuart Tartan and a 3D acrylic poinsettia. So if you guys would like to see how I completed this look from start to finish, then just keep on watching. So guys, diving in with today's video and as you can see, I am going to be using my tips today. So I've shaped them, popped them onto my little practice stands and I'm now going in to start working on the middle finger. So the middle finger is going to be the tartan nail, a full tartan nail. So I'm starting first by going in with a layer of Scorch Gel in Red Pear and you could most definitely get away with one coat of this but I'm going to be doing two. It's a beautiful rich red colour, absolutely perfect for this season and then I'm going to go in with a matte top coat and fully cure that. So guys, now that I have my base laid down, I'm going in to start working on the actual tartan. So I'm first starting with one of Indigo Nails' glass gels. This is basically a translucent black colour, perfect for this part of the design. And I'm basically going to be doing the first layer, which is obviously the, like, the dark, semi-translucent base that you see in most of the Scottish tartans. This has to be translucent. You could definitely mix your own translucent gel, but I had one of these ready at hand, so I just went ahead and use this. So with my really tiny Misu striping brush, I first went with right off to the side of the nail, one stripe going right down the nail, and then I'm going to do three different shorter stripes going across the nail. Again, doesn't have to be perfect, you could refine it with your brush, but you do want to make sure that you're curing in between, so when you go in with the stripes that are going across the nail, that it doesn't interrupt that one stripe that you put down the nail. That way, each colour has its own sort of like opacity, and it isn't removing any of your gel. So that's basically what I'm doing. Add in my lines, flash curing, and then I will move on with the next part. This design is very, very time consuming, but it is so rewarding once you've got it done. It's absolutely gorgeous. And if you could draw a straight line, you can most definitely do this. So now that I have cured my base, I'm now going in to start working on the details. So there is a few different kinds of Stuart Tartan. You have ones that are very like leaning towards the blue. This is the more traditional one that has like the greens, the reds, the blacks, the blues, whites and stuff like that in it. That's what I wanted to do, but you can most definitely make this any colour you want, tweak it to your taste and it is just a beautiful design once it's done. So basically what I'm doing here is, as you can see, I've took a really tiny detail brush and I'm also using a green gel polish that is also by Scorch and I'm basically right where those two lines meet we are adding tiny little boxes and I am just filling them in. These gels are super pigmented so I did only require one coat which was great since I didn't want the nail to be overly bulky anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and do that to those three sections there and then fully cure that part of the design. So the next part of this look is again more detailing. I've switched over to my Ink London No Wipe Gel Paint. This is a super high viscosity gel, perfect for line work. So as you can see, I had no issues whatsoever creating those really tiny stripes. So basically what I'm going to do here is I'm right where I have added those green boxes, just a tiny little gap. And then I'm going to go in with my first stripe. And then I'm going to do the exact same in between each of those boxes. But I'm keeping these stripes very close to those green boxes at the top as well. And then you can see here, I'm just taking my gel brush, I'm going in, it's got no product whatsoever on it, I'm just basically using the brush to refine those lines, make sure they're nice and straight and even with the one up above it. And then again, I pop that back into my LED light for a full cure before I move on with the next part. So now that I've created all of my black stripes, I'm now going in to do the blue stripe. This is a gorgeous royal blue gel polish from the brand Scorch. It's called Blueberry Poison. Again, I find working with these, they are so pigmented that they are almost like a gel paint. They are so easy to work with. I love them and pull them out every festive season. So you can see with this box, guys, I'm keeping that blue stripe right down beside those green ones. And then I am going to go ahead and do them diagonally as well. But this time, we we are keeping it right going over basically where that translucent box is meeting the green one so they are basically right touching each other if that makes any sense. 
And what I found with this is you don't want to go over your lines too much simply because you don't want them to be overly bulky. So if you could get a good gel polish that is very pigmented and get your lines done in one, perfect. So now we move on to a gold gel paint. This is Indigo Nails Gold and it's absolutely gorgeous. So this stripe is going right down the translucent stripe, straight through those green boxes. And then we are going to do the same going across the nail as well. And then once again, when I was happy with the positioning of all of those gold stripes, I popped that back into my LED light for a full 60 seconds. So now guys, I have moved on to the Ink London white gel paint and I'm going to be doing white stripes. You can see here that my first white stripe goes in between that blue stripe and the last black one. And then going across the nail, it goes in between each of those two black lines that I created. And I'm going to do this right down that whole nail. And then once I had cured that part of the design, I'm going back in with that gold gel paint and I'm going to put gold stripes directly underneath those white stripes that go across the nail. And finally guys, that is the played nail complete. So now lovelies, we move on with the pointer finger and the pinky. This is going to be a full cover of Miso Gel in Cupid, which is part of their Christmas range and is a really beautiful dark glittery red polish. It is stunning. So I'm putting two coats, curing each for 30 seconds on those nails. And then moving on with the ring finger, which is going to be the 3D acrylic poinsettia nail. I'm starting with a base layer of 438 from Premier Gel, which is an absolutely gorgeous nude shade. So I'm going to be applying two coats of this to the nail, curing each for 30 seconds in between. And quickly guys, I just want to say, if you could hear little Bentley having a good old bark to himself, I have had to lock him in my living room while I'm doing this, and he is not pleased whatsoever and is letting the world know. So please excuse the odd little bark that you hear. So yeah, back onto the nails, I've applied a layer of Glitter Bells No Wipe Gel Top Coat. Then I'm going in first with Glitter Bells Glass Slippers. I've added a little bead of that to the centre of the nail, and then onto that I'm applying these absolutely absolutely gorgeous pointed back chatone Swarovski crystals that I got from Blue Street Crystals. I'm applying one of those right into the centre of that nail, basically just holding it until it attaches to that acrylic and then I go in with some extra acrylic going around that gem just so everything stays put on the nail. Then the next part of this design is the actual acrylic poinsettia. So I am going in with two different colours of Glitter Bells acrylic. First up we have Cherry Bomb, which is the lightest of the two colours. I'm basically just using this to create the biggest petals. So what I'm doing with this is just going in like what I would do with a, like a leaf design. So you want like a semi sort of like triangle and then kind of just curve it at the top. I'm using my 3D brush here and I'm just working that um, acrylic in until I'm happy with the shape and you could see here that I am going in and just tidying that up as I go along so the acrylic doesn't stain the beige nail that I've created as my base. And then for the next petal, which is right underneath this one, I am going to go in and do exactly the same. So taking my small bead of acrylic that is fairly dry, I then go in and add just a little bit more monomer so I have enough room to work that acrylic. And then you kind of want to leave it until it goes semi-matte and that is the best time to go ahead and start moulding your acrylic to the shape that you want it. And you could kind of just see here that I am not leaving the leaves or the petals, sorry, as exactly the same I want them slightly different as I'm going along and then I'm going in to the side to create another slightly smaller one
And then directly opposite that one, I'm going to go in with another one again using that same cherry bomb acrylic that I've used throughout that process. I'm just going to go in and do another petal from the side here and then I will switch over to the other colour of acrylic. So like I said guys, at this point I am going to switch over to my other acrylic. This one is called Strawberry Delight and you will notice that these two colours are pretty much identical. The only difference is that Strawberry Delight is slightly darker than Cherry Bomb. So that's why I'm using that one with for the, sorry, for the top petals and that is basically, you could see here, when I go in with my brush and I like pat out the shape that I want it's almost creating like a shadow going around the each of those petals which is giving it a more three-dimensional look as opposed to going in with one solid color and it looking kind of flat it's almost creating character as it's going around and giving each one of those little petals something that catches the eye And you can also kind of see here, guys, that I'm also overlapping each of these petals. And again, that's just going to give it a more of a 3D appearance and it isn't going to look so flat lying on the nail. I really like to take these extra steps when I'm doing my 3D work because it really does make the difference if you just sort of like tweak those beads a little bit, shape them how you want and kind of make each one different. And it will just give your poinsett a lot more character. So at this point, you could most definitely leave that exactly as it is, but I always need to add a little bit more because I really just can't help myself. So I'm going in with some Glitter Bells Glass Slippers, which is their clear acrylic powder. And I'm also taking these little pieces of like broken gold. They're sort of like little metal pieces that I got from AliExpress. I absolutely love them. They do add so much character to the nail and they really just made this poinsettia set a totally pop and look a little bit more festive and tight in with my design so I basically just went around and covered where I had applied that big Swarovski crystal so now guys once I had left that acrylic to completely set I'm gonna go in and top coat all of my nails I'm adding a layer of glitter bells no wipe gel top coat and I just want to give you guys a little update on the thumb as you can see here I've basically just gone ahead and added a bit of a mishmash of everything that's going on so at a diagonal slant I painted the top half with that cupid gel polish I used on the rest of the nails and at the bottom I did a little bit of a tartan design to match the middle finger so to jazz up the rest of the nails and to add a little pop of colour to these red nails as well, I'm going to be adding some Swarovski crystals. So I'm using my Glitter Bells base glue and also my Tanto pickup tool that I got from Blue Street Crystals. And then I'm using some Indian Siam Swarovski crystals and also some emerald green ones. And I'm basically just going to be adding a few of each of those colours to that nail. And the green is basically just going to tie in with the tartan design and the red obviously matches the rest of the look and again it's just making the whole entire design cohesive and work and give a little bit of that festive feel to each of those nails And finally guys my last and final steps for this look is to go in with a top coat and then as always I pop that back into my LED light for 60 seconds. And finally guys here is what the set looks like all complete so this one is the shiny version I wasn't too sure which top coat I liked more so what I did was before I went in with the matte top coat I sort of just went ahead and did a little sort of preview so you guys could check out both finishes so definitely let me know if you prefer the matte version or the shiny version down below. And finally, my friends, that is us reached the end of today's video. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this installment of my 12 Days of Christmas series. Definitely let me know what you guys are thinking of the series so far. So yeah, if you did enjoy today's video, please give me a thumbs up. I would totally appreciate it. And if you're new to my channel and you haven't already, don't forget to click that subscribe button. Hit that notifications bell to be updated anytime I upload a new video. And finally, if you don't mind, give this video a little like 
and a share it helps greatly with my channel and as always i appreciate you guys support so much and as always to my lovely returning subscribers you guys know the drill i love you so much thank you for joining me today and i will see you guys in the next one bye